grade 12s so today we're going to be doing geography particularly climatology and more specifically synoptic weather maps okay synoptic weather maps are exciting because literally all the answers well most of the answers are on the map so you just need to know how to look for the answers and interpret them and you'll be You'll be good to go you'll get all your marks so let's get started Wait, one more thing before we start i forgot to mention that most of the work that we'll practice that we'll, we will be practicing is going to be coming from this textbook Do -do 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 -do. focus grade 11 i mean grade 12 geography so yeah if you have this book it's going to be nice for you to follow with us well with me as we go along so let's do this Okay, so the first question is asking us to name the high pressure systems at A and B. That's A and that's B. Okay, they're giving you a clue when they say high pressure systems. So another term for a high pressure system is an anticyclone. And there are three anticyclones that affect South Africa. So A, because it's on the western side of South Africa, should be the South Atlantic high pressure. And then B, because it's on the eastern side of South Africa, should be the South Indian high pressure. So that would be how you'd answer that question. And then question 1.2 would say, says, describe the weather conditions at E. So there's E. There's E, okay. Okay, the, yeah. Okay, so firstly, the air temperature at E is 17. That's the one at the top. And then the dew point pressure, which is, I mean, dew point temperature, which is at the bottom, is 14. The cloud cover, because that circle is empty, is clear. The wind speed, okay, the wind speed is 20 knots. And for those of you who don't know why, it's 20 knots because one little line represents 10 knots. And since there's two of them, it would be 20 knots. And then the wind direction... I just normally draw an imaginary axis and then from that imaginary axis I find my direction and um, I pre um, worked this one out and it's west southwest because okay, I'm just gonna it's like you draw a line there 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 and you'd see that it falls in between south and west and then more closely to west than it is to south so that's how i got to west south west so yeah that's how you would answer the question yeah we've named all the characteristics this question is out of five so you would only need five points so yeah okay so the next question says identify the type of pressure system at f we go to f and as you can see, there's triangles, sort of, and half circles. And there's a low pressure system. So if it's a low pressure and there's all these things, it definitely has to be a mid-latitude cyclone. So yeah, you just answer the question and say, it's a mid-latitude cyclone. The next question, and guys, they love this question with their whole hearts. They, wow, they love it. They're going to be like, which season is depicted on the synoptic weather map? Guess two reasons for your answer. Okay, so firstly, you need to just look at what's on the synoptic weather map. You see there's a mid-latitude cyclone, there's these high-pressure cells, and also another thing that you can do is look at the air temperatures to kind of sort of give you a clue, but that's not really enough. So what I say, the answer is it's summer. Okay, the first reason why I say that is because the Kalahari high pressure cell is not on the interior of South Africa. Had it been winter, we would have seen another high pressure cell on the interior, which is the Kalahari high pressure cell. We would have seen it there if it was winter. So in summer, this high pressure cell moves downwards because of the ITCZ, but don't worry too much about that. But just, yeah, that's the first reason. The second reason that I would give is the air temperatures. I mean, we see temperatures, air temperatures of 29, 28, 24, 20. Those are just generally not 
winter temperatures those are summer temperatures so that would be the second reason and another reason yeah because you have to give two reasons so that would be the two reasons that i would give for this question okay so num question one point the next question well says name the type of air circulation in the vicinity of c and explain why it might cause a fire hazard okay c c is there the air circulation of c would be um anti-clockwise because c should be a, a high pressure cell therefore it should flow from the top to the bottom therefore as it flows from the top to the bottom it's gonna heat up adiabatically so that is why it might cause a fire hazard because it's dry air as well so this dry air as it flows downwards it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and if it finds no moisture on the ground it's like dry and everything it might cause a fire hazard because it might start fires so that would be what i would answer and then 1.7 says an amateur with a forecaster predicts the development of a tropical cyclone in the area at d which is there do you agree with this prediction explain your answer yes i agree with this amateur <laughs> with a forecaster okay firstly we see from the weather station at d is that the air temperature is 29 and as you learned earlier is that um for the development of a tropical cyclone the it's in the, the the temperature of the water should be greater than 27 degrees well it is here as we see it secondly that pressure it's 1008 which is mostly the pressure that you find um, when the when a tropical um, cyclone reaches the immature stage and stuff like that so that air pressure is that of a a tropical cyclone so I agree with him okay other reasons well the location this it's not between 0 to 5 degrees it's not close to the equator yeah it's i definitely agree with him i agree with him okay more practice for synoptic with map here's a, another one okay so the first question would be describe the weather at port elizabeth so we zoom in we go to port elizabeth we look at that weather station the air temperature which is at the top 19 degrees the dew point temperature, which is at the bottom, is 5 degrees. The cloud cover is half, as indicated by that circle. So only half of it is shaded. The wind speed, oh wow, that is hectic. So the wind speed is 25 knots. And the reason why I say it's 25 knots is because there's two. Two full ones and one half one. And a half represents five. So the wind speed is 25 knots guys that is really quick i mean fast that is really fast and then the direction okay i just have to just work this out because it's not really something that i can just see from the top of my head okay so i'm going to draw my imaginary axis again nope wait no, that is definitely um, west, southwest. So, okay, that wind direction is west, southwest. So, yeah, that is the weather at Port Elizabeth. Oh, my word, I feel like a weather lady. Port Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, name the weather features at P and Q. P and Q. The weather features. Okay, P because they are triangles that would be the cold front and q because they are half little circle thingies that is the warm front so yeah the next question says in which direction oh sorry the fan in which direction are p and q moving 
as you know um, mid latitude cyclones move from west to east so we can say that they are moving in an easterly direction name the weather feature at r r that is a coastal low yeah that is a coastal low it occurs at the coast and it is a low pressure cell okay and the next question says how is r affecting the weather at durban well r seems to have kind of passed durban a bit so that's why the cloud cover is overcast and the air temperature is 22 the dew point temperature is 24 so right now it's very cloudy and so in the next few days it's going to start raining it's going to start being windy so a coastal low does that after it's past a region like the area becomes cold becomes windy becomes very wet so yeah that's basically how you would answer that question well not really because they just asked how it's affecting the current weather so you would say it's cloudy because you can see that it's overcast okay here is another synoptic weather map so the first question says give four reasons why you know the pressure cell centered at Beira is a tropical cyclone. There. That one. Okay. So the first reason would be firstly the name. Only tropical cyclones have names, not mid latitude cyclones, not high pressure cells. Only tropical cyclones have names. So that's the first reason. The second reason is the air pressure. The air pressure is pretty slow and it's steep like the, the the decrease is pretty steep so that would be the second reason the third reason is that symbol there of at the eye so that's the second reason oh my word and then the fourth reason they gave us such an amazing clue they gave us this date which is 20 22 february 2000 and as you know a tropical cyclone happens in late summer early autumn and in the southern hemisphere like 22nd of february is towards the end of summer and the beginning of autumn so those are the four reasons that tell us that that is a tropical cyclone describe the weather conditions oh my word not again but yes this question they always ask describe the weather conditions pressure temperature clouds winds and rainfall associated with cyclone line or Eline as shown by the weather stations on the map okay we're gonna zoom in to okay so we have to okay i'm just gonna do this one yeah this one because it's closer to there okay so firstly the cloud cover overcast air temperature 27 degrees dew point temperature 25 degrees the wind speed 20 knots the wind direction that is definitely east yeah that is east and then what else did they say pressure Ooh, okay we've done rainfall okay although there is no symbol of rainfall but you know that because it's a tropical cyclone there are thunderstorms and yeah and because this it's in the mature section sector i mean of the tropical cyclone i would say there's thunderstorms and then even though they didn't put a symbol that yeah and then the air pressure is 996 so we have answered that question um the next question would is what stage of development is cyclone Eline? Motivate your answer. Go, answer, go, go, answer. Okay, <laughs> let's get serious. The stage of this tropical cyclone is the immature stage, and the reason for this is that the the lowest air pressure is nine hundred and ninety six. So that would definitely be immature because had it been in the mature stage the lowest air pressure would have been lower than 950 so yeah that is why i say it is in the immature stage okay the next question says predict what will happen to 
cyclone Elian in the days following this one well the cyclone is getting closer to land so okay because it's still in the mature stage it's still going to be in the mature stage so wind speeds are still going to increase the the air pressure is going to decrease even more and there's going to be a clear clear eye and where there's a clear eye the conditions are going to be cloudless they're going to be clear it's going to be sunny there's going to be no rain and so as it moves towards the land it's going to start to degenerate because of the friction on the land and air and tropical cyclones don't is it safe to say they don't like yeah they don't like friction friction like causes them to die out so that's what's gonna happen and yeah and it's gonna go back to sea so that's what's gonna happen okay guys so that's it for today synoptic weather maps done um i would advise you to go practice more past papers and i mean if you have any questions I'll be more than willing to help. Just drop a comment on the comment box and just say maybe in um, the 2016 question paper or the 2015 question paper, this, this, this happened and I didn't really understand. And I would love to explain it to you. So yeah, happy studying, happy understanding. And remember, practice makes perfect. Bye. So yeah, before I go, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. Please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends, tell your cousins, tell everyone, your classmates to tune in. We're going to be posting more videos and it's going to be a vibe so you can pass and get those distinctions and go to university or yeah, wherever you plan. Bye guys.